Hello, I'm Dr. Gareth Moore and I'm a puzzle and brain training author, but in this video I'm going to be solving this, the Exit the Game Advent Calendar for 2023, The Silent Storm. I can't believe that it is already halfway through Advent already. Um, oh my goodness, I am not yet ready for Christmas. Hopefully you're doing better than me if you're watching this in Advent. But for now we will start with a story for today, which is in this book, and the other one was hints and tips that hopefully we won't need. And as always it says to tear out the contents for the day, so we shall start here. Let's see what we've got for today. Right. Filled with determination, you leave the world of books, that's yesterday's puzzle, and find yourself in the room where the annual Christmas raffle for the employees takes place. You've been looking forward to this event for a long time. It's one of the highlights of the year for you. On the floor you discover a raffle ticket that someone has carelessly left lying around. Shaking your head, you pick it up. How can people just throw away their luck like that? After all, there is a possibility that this ticket could hold the winning number for this year, even if it all feels a long way off. You look thoughtfully at the number. In your situation, finding a boss would be the real jackpot. The boss being Santa. Right, turn the page and open door 13, but behind which you find a riddle card. But also, there are 10 strips to cut out here. First one reads 7 across, and this one reads 3 across. Um, but what's on the back? Oh. Look at that. It goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and there are these cloverleaf type designs on certain squares. And then down the bottom, wow, quite a few elements. Are these on the back of the strips? Is this telling us where to place them? I think it is, probably. 4, 2, 3, 0, 1, 5, 8, 6, 7, 9. So are we placing perhaps these? Well, let's come back to this. Also, this is for later on, this is our decoder strips. Each day we typically need a three-digit number to work out where our door for tomorrow is, because they're not otherwise labelled. Talking of doors, here's our calendar, and yesterday we found that we are right up in the top right corner, in door 13. So let's jump over to that door now and open it. Oh, there we go. Now on the back of the door, can you see? There is a, oh, well, a bird of some sort with a flower in its mouth. And then in the room there is the one riddle card, very generously we've got for today. What does it say? Um, Christmas Lottery. Oh, we've got that pattern on the back. Your lucky number, 04739682521. Okay. And um, just a regular riddle card on the back. And I suspect this ribbon for this design here that looks a little bit like a number, a five and a two maybe, uh, probably just flourishes. We do need to look in the room itself, however. So let's see what's in there. Okay, so it's quite hard to film this. I'm going to look in the room with another camera. Um... Quite hard to film it with my main camera, I should say. So, I think we're just viewing a table with... Ah, it's like a lottery ball machine, isn't it? It's got the thing around the outside for the ball to roll out of and down to the bottom. Ah, and then there's all the balls. They're supposed to roll into it from either side. Okay, and then down below, there's something on the floor. Code. From, from back to front. Okay, well that looks like that's all that's in there, so now let's go look back at that bit of paper, I think. Right, so this, and presumably, apart from the back to front thing, is all we need. So I'm going to start by cutting these strips out. Right, so, five horizontal things, strips of letters, five vertical, a puzzle page to put them onto, and then a code here. So, my first observation was that these have numbers on the back. So that four, does that go in the four row? Um, this three, ah, so that's it. So I was about to say, how do we know what order to put them in? But this must be the order to put the strip song in, mustn't it? So if I put on the strip that says zero first here, and then the strip that says four, which I've just done, the strip that says seven, presumably that's, is that a vertical one? Here's the strip that says seven. Let's put this in the seven column. Then the strip that says three in the three row. And then the strip that says nine, which must be a column, not this one. This one. A little fiddly, because they're just light bits of paper. A six, which is obviously a column. This may be completely wrong, of course, but it's somewhere to start, right? So I was thinking, well, I'll put the rows on, then the columns, um, and then eight. But this this makes sense. Probably this is right. Um, and then two.
It's also why one of them has a com or at least two of them had complete words on. Uh, because, sorry, five. Uh, because something's going on top, isn't it? Five. And then one. Which is here. So, yeah, that works, doesn't it? Because it makes a message. Look, reading across, on the side at the barcode. Look on the side at the barcode. So, we're now looking on the side of the box, I think. So here we go. Look, and it says 958 here. 958. Okay, so the code is 958, but just looking back in the room again, remember it says code from back to front. So it's a 958, I assume it's 859. So, 859, here we go. 8, 5, 9. <laughs> Moment of truth, eh? So we go down from here, and down left to here, and down right, which is this door here. And does it have square, moon, diamond? It does! So that is correct. And that is our door for day 14. Excellent. What a nice little puzzle that was. Right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, do please join me in tomorrow's video when I shall open that door, read the story for tomorrow, and hopefully solve the puzzles found therein. Also, please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. It's really helpful for me, and it makes it easier to find future videos, I hope. To which end, also, please like this video, and also comment down below if you've solved a puzzle yourself, or if you've just watched along and you have anything to say at all. I really like reading your comments. Um, there's some links at the end here to other solves I'm doing, and also, if you're watching this more than 24 hours after I've recorded it, then also a link to tomorrow's puzzle in this calendar. But otherwise, until I see you in a future video, all that remains is for me to say, take care and goodbye.